Hey viewers, welcome to my channel once more. My name is Mandy. I want to say happy Sunday to you all. If you're viewing me for the very first time, thank you so much and God bless you. But you have to do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. Then turn on your notification bell so that each time I upload a video, you'll be notified about it. Like my video, share my video, and comment down below. It's very necessary. Please do comment on my videos. Thank you so much and God bless you. In today's video, I want to talk about the use of salt to stop random movement in your ceiling. Wow. <laughs> I am saying all these things based on experience. Each thing I share or whatever I share in my channel, I am sharing it based on experience. Based on what? My experience. In one of my videos, I talked about the use of salt and how salt is a covenant. When you go to some chapters in the Bible, you, you will see where or you will discover where God talked about the covenant of salt. So you see that salt is very, very potent. It's a neutralizer. Salt is a purifier. You can use it to fight any kind of warfare. You can use your salt to find, fight any kind of warfare. Any kind of warfare at all, your salt will do that for you. If only you know what you have in your home. If only you understand the kind of covenant God has with what you have in your kitchen, cooking every day. Wow, ignorance is a disease. Seriously. When you don't know a thing, that thing is really bigger than you. But today, I want to expose to us how to use salt to stop random movement in your ceiling. In your ceiling. Why am I saying it's ceiling? Because I have heard a lot of people ask me or tell me mandy i always have this strange movement on my ceiling i always feel it each time it's 12 midnight before you know it something will start moving you know shaking the whole place and making them uncomfortable and i shared my experience with them i once lived in a compound where every midnight something will come like a giant when this thing comes as in i'm not afraid but when it comes, you know, the way it, it shakes the whole environment, it shakes the, as if this thing want to pull out the zinc of where I am living. It's a it kind of, the thing will be dragging it like a human being. One day, what the landlord even had to ask me that, what is this thing that is dragging this thing? And I say, if you ask me who I will ask, I don't know. And I can't explain what this thing is. And that is how this thing kept on disturbing me and troubling me and worrying me and my kids at a particular time in the mind in the night we will not sleep well because something is busy working and you know destroying things on the ceiling and i knew that was not ordinary then do you know what happened to me one faithful day i was just sitting down in my sitting room and the holy spirit said to me mandy pick up your salt and I was like, pick up my salt? What will I do with it? And he said to me, declare a word. Go to that particular place. You hear those movements. Where that thing normally comes. That spirit, whatever it is, normally comes to drag that thing. Go there, declare a word and sprinkle it there. My dear brothers and sisters, as I'm talking to you or sharing this experience with you, after obeying the voice of God, after obeying the voice of the Holy Spirit, do you know what happened? It shocked me that throughout I lived there, I did not, I did not notice any of that, those things again. Instead, what did they do? They changed their position. They went to my landlord's uh, window, <laughs> window ceiling or some window zinc and started doing it. So when my landlord told me about it, I shared my experience. I told them how I stopped mine. And that is why I tried to make this video today. Many people out there are suffering the same thing. In the night, you don't sleep because something is always moving up and down in your ceiling. Something is always causing, you know, distractions in the night. So if you to sleep peacefully because God said he will give us peace by all means. So therefore, why should anything come and take away your peace in the night? Why would you allow anything to be taking away your peace? Some of you to be sleeping smoothly, dreaming, you know, having divine revelation. Instead, you, you, you open your eyes and be listening to what is moving. What could be this? What could this thing be? Today, I want you to know 
that I have an answer for you. The answer is salt. The answer is what? Salt. All you need to do about this prayer is to get your salt. If you can get a sea salt, it will do you more good. Then if you don't have sea salt, my dear brothers and sisters, pick up that salt in your kitchen. The one I used that worked for me was just the salt that was in my kitchen. And I used it to, I used it to cook. So when you pick up your salt, put it in your hand and declare the word of God. Declare that salt to carry fire. Say, let this salt carry fire. Let this salt carry fire that as I sprinkle this salt, anything that is not of God be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. And as you declare that word and declare what you want to see, my dear brothers and sisters, after doing that, just go over to that place or wherever you feel. If there is any small hole, you know, in every home there is always this small hole that leads to the ceiling. If it is possible for you to open it and carry that salt and sprinkle into that place, you have to do it. That is how I did mine. Because when, when I went there, I, there was a, a little hole there. So I had to sprinkle it directly into the ceiling. So you sprinkle it there. And after sprinkling it, my dear sister, you will come back to testify. You will come back to say, Jesus, thank you for giving me this revelation. You will come back to say, God, I never knew that I had an answer to what is troubling me all this while. Salt is a covenant. Salt is powerful. Make use of it and stop the activities of the wicked in your life, in your family. Thank you so much as I come to an end of this video. God bless you so much and expect more spiritual tips from me. My name is Mandy. Bye.